German, I personally don't believe anything like child labor in cocoa production. If it exists, it probably hasn't come to my personal notice. But I know that I am an accountant. I have a fair. If my son or my daughter is in senior high school or even at the university, and during vacations, I decided I decided I come and do attachment so you get some experience. Would you call that a child labor? When I was a child, my father was a big time cocoa farmer. On vacations, yes, we we'll join him in the village. We we'll go to the farm with him. We we'll come back. I don't think anybody will want to expose his or her son to risk or want you, your son to stop schooling just because you want him to work in a cocoa farm. If there are, and I don't believe that at age eight, nine, somebody can be employed as a farmer in the cocoa farm. So I don't believe in this child labor thing. It must be a figment of their own imagination. The area I come from, it doesn't exist. So what would be your advice? How do you think we can address this issue? Because it keeps coming up in international reports and uh, there are even threats that Koko from Ghana might come under some scrutiny. Uh, how, how, what will be your advice if you become regional minister? How, how should we address? My advice would be to I mean, liaise with the Koko board and engage them. If possible, let's go down to the farms with them. Let them come and observe what happens. It might be it might be lack of information. They can even uh, in this day and age employ corporate investigators to go and see if indeed there are children who are engaged as farm hands or children who are not who have stopped school because they want to help their fam I mean, families or are being employed, are being employed as leaders. If they find that we can discuss it, but otherwise I'm sure that you will be convinced that indeed that doesn't happen in this country.